It's time for men's doubles here on Championship Saturday, and we've got the top two seeds ready to battle. The number one seed, Riley Newman and Matt Wright, are looking to take out the Johns brothers. Wright and Newman looked very good in their semifinal. They defeated Utah's own Tyler Loon and Callan Dawson, and the Johns brothers were pushed by the third seed. Man, were they in trouble. Jay DeVillier and Tyson McGuffin had them on the ropes, but they were able to push three. Down two in the third game of a best of three, they were able to come back and take it. So it's the Johns versus Wright and Newman. Best three out of five. We'll have that for you right after this. All right, welcome back, everybody. Dave Fleming here at the Tournament of Champions on the PPA Tour, and I have a champion to my right. Lee Waters, congratulations. A tremendous match you just played. Had to be thrilling to win in that fashion and be the last part of getting your daughter a Triple Crown. <laughs> yeah, I did actually feel some pressure. I was like, oh no, now it's up to me for Annalie to win the Triple. But um, but yeah, I mean, mainly we just, we wanted to follow up our win from last week at, yep. the, at the Skechers and prove, prove that we're the top team. And so we really went after it today. Yeah, and you know, as I discussed with you on the interview afterwards, there's a lot going on here in that match, and you guys just played it brilliantly. So, a great women's match. Let's hope we have the same oh, engagement and fire here. So let's set the stage here. We've got Ben Johns and Colin Johns. Now, speaking of triple grounds, Ben right. Johns has a chance. Anna Lee gave me the triple, triple, triple when I talked to her yesterday. It was her third triple crown. She got her triple crown. That's two. Now Ben Johns has to deliver. He's going to be playing with his brother, who also was kind enough to spend some time yep. with me in the booth. Now, they're the two seed because Riley Newman and Matt Wright have been playing some tremendous pickleball. What are you going to be looking for here? Yeah, I think it's really interesting because they both, both teams have different playing styles. Matt and Riley, I would say, are two of the most aggressive yes. men's players. I really like how they play. They, they kind of play, they play my style right. of pickleball. A lot of flicks, a lot of speed ups. Whereas Ben and Colin, they, they're, they like to dink, they like to finesse, they like to really work the point and set up that put away ball. So it's going to be interesting to see which style you know, kind of comes out on top today. Yeah, the uh, I told the fans watching your match, like if you came for dink rallies, you've come it's to the wrong happening. place because <laughs> truly it was who's going to pull the trigger first and you guys were able to do that successfully. Same thing here. If Riley and Matt are going to be successful, they're going to have to do that. You just played on the court. Give our fans a sense of the wind, the visibility. Yeah. What, what was that I'm like? I'm not going to lie. It is tricky conditions. Um, on the side that, well, nobody's we'll really see. there now. <laughs> we'll let you know in a second. <laughs> One side, the side that's with the wind's tricky because when you do want to speed it up or hit a drive, you got to be careful that it doesn't fly. The opposite side, you're against the wind, so you can pull the trigger a little bit more. However, it's harder to see on that side. Okay. So you get into those battles, and then you sometimes lose the ball. I think they were probably more body bags, as we call them, or people getting hit on that side because you lose it as the ball is coming back to you. Yeah, you have a little higher, you know, batter's eye to use a baseball term mm -hmm. on on this on the far side here. So the side two, you see Tom Whitson, our referee. What a great referee. So he's got the control here. You see Colin Johns coming up to fist bump. Uh, there's Ben Johns with his hat on backwards. Riley Newman and Matt Wright are ready to go. Colin Johns wants to do what you did, help a family member achieve a triple crown and get your own gold medal. We actually, we actually talked about it before the match. Me and Colin, we were like, geez, it's up to us to make sure our siblings or daughters gets the triple crown. So it's a little pressure. All right, here we go. Let's play pickleball. Colin Johns to serve. Ben looking to be aggressive on that side early. Try to set a tone. So the wind, zero, as you can zero, see one. the flag just for a second there, is in the face of Matt Wright, who you see serving there. Wow. And we talked about perhaps Wright and Newman would be speeding it up, Lee. 
I'm actually surprised though, because Ben's uh, sped up the ball two points in a row. Zero, zero, and um, I noticed in their semifinal match against uh, Tyson and Jay DeVillier, oh wait, the point's over. Ben was really looking to be aggressive in yep. that third game. He like lit fire and it's looking like he's taking that same type of aggression right now. Yeah, because there's a ball there in the middle of the point that he'd often just roll into the backhand side and he took a full cut at it and Matt Wright was able to handle it. It's that ball right there. That kisses the tape and stays in for him. So he said he was going to play aggressive when I talked to him yesterday and this morning Zero, after one, singles one. and we're seeing it early. Yeah. Yeah, you really don't see Ben drive that many balls. He's already driven at least two, maybe three thirds. One, one, one. Interesting. One. Yeah, that's hard to miss a return that's two, one, cut one. into that win, but uh, gets too much of it. Nope. Like they are coming <laughs> at Ben like. Here comes the ball. This is fantastic. Just no doubt about it. Here We're one, bringing two. heat all day long. Right and that one catches the wind and sails long. And Ben served huge in his singles match this morning, one, and two, it one. played big dividends for him. Oh my, and Colin thought Ben was gonna come over. So instead, we'll just have a highlight reel after we almost run into each other. And there he comes into your living room. I can assure you that was not planned. No, but uh, it worked out. There's Riley with that quick speed up. I know Colin's been working on that pancake, which is where he gets down low with his paddle high yes. and just pancakes it down and has been successful with it. Loves to get that scorpion stinger up there. And <laughs> well done. And that's the thing, Lee, you I've seen are getting that paddle up square instead of to the side a lot as well what does that do for people when they're getting attacked yeah it just it's easier to get the ball down back at their feet so they can't counter back it also helps you when you get down a little bit lower let the higher balls fly out um, and in these conditions a lot of balls are going to fly another drive from ben johns right there and a beautiful ATP from CJ there. What a shot. Look at that. And Riley was there, but it was so deep. You don't see an ATP laying that close to the baseline yeah, that often. Yeah, that was a great shot. I think Riley might have thought it was actually going out. It was way in. What? <laughs> a little stare down. A little stare down at the end of that point. Lee Waters is incredulous at how fast those balls went back and forth. You were just playing on that court, my friend. <laughs> just high octane pickleball here. I love it. Yeah, and I have to think that Matt and Riley are a little surprised at yes. how hot Ben, uh, how hot Ben came out. Because I think they thought they would see a lot of the, as you described it at the beginning, we're going to see two different styles. They're going to roll those. They're going to open the court. They are such strategy guys. Mm -hmm. We know where we want to put the ball. Where is it safe? And no, we're going to just swing for the fences all day long. Good defense, but Riley was able to get that one down. Four, one, two. Oh, oh no. We've had quite a few leg cores yes. already, and we had him as well in our match, sure so did. I don't know what what the heck, but. Because everybody is driving the ball a millimeter <laughs> above the tape. I think that's it. And I think the answer is, Lee, and you were doing it yourself, you know if you drive it and it's up at all, these guys are so good and the women are so good, they're going to put that away and you lose your advantage, so it's got to be low. It's got to be low. 
Plus, with the altitude here, yep. anything that gets up, it just Fire soars. Door. I mean, it's speed up city. There's not much thinking going on. And if I would have told Matt and Riley, who you see there, that that's the, what's going to happen, they would have said, what? No, we're doing it. Ben Johns who gets the last answer on that one and you can see how he filled the middle now unlucky for Riley and Matt that it went off the net. Five, two, one. No. Colin likes to sit back and got caught. Yeah, and talking about Ben in the middle, he's not an Five, overly two, tall two. guy, but he's so big on that court. I mean, he has a presence. Okay, so scrap through a uh, sort of a dink point. I'm not going to call it a full dink point there, Lee, but we're getting there. Second server. Angle me this. Watch this angle, folks. He hit it really well, too. He didn't turn his shoulders to show he was going there, and then he just flipped his paddle. And if you're not paying attention at home, that is yet another return and another return and another return going to Riley. Yes. So uh, we'll see if that continues. But uh, having watched them all go there so far, I would expect that to continue. Yeah, Matt Wright's really known for his thirds. He's got a great drop. He's got a great drive. So I think most teams, when they when they play Matt and Riley, they probably hit most balls to Riley. They also keeps Riley from poaching yes. off, off Matt's thirds. So it really serves two purposes. Exactly. It? Step back forehand from right misses six, two, there. One. So six two here in game one again. Best of five. Second serve. And still driving that oh. third. It does put a lot of pressure on the other team even when you miss six, two, just two. to see Ben come in like that. Oh, Colin too. And Colin just tattoos one into the tape. So there's no doubt that there was a conversation made about we don't like what happened in our last match against these guys. <laughs> that time they were able to just get Ben a little uncomfortable. He's usually on balance, wasn't there. Three, six, one. Matt Wright staring it down. Second server. Three, six, two. So what does that, how does that feel for Matt Wright? He stared down Ben Johnson and wins it and uh, wants to keep going there. Yeah, I mean, he's, she's trying to tell Ben, you're not, you're not gonna drive me every third. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, high angle. <laughs> Little brother hit one angle, but mine's better. Yeah. Look at that. I think it is better. I yeah. think, I think Colin one up him on that. Six, four, one. Yeah, I think any semi-high dink that goes Matt Wright's way, you're going to see a speed up. So, a couple missed serves here in game one from Ben Johns, who serves so well in singles. You don't see that much, actually. No. You don't see Matt poach much, especially off his backhand side like that. You know, but if the same patterns happen, I like the mentality of that. Like, I got to get them to stop. I mean, it's the same thing. They're returning over there. And then where's the next ball going? Oh, nice 
Back up. Riley Newman, known to probably have the best defense in yes. the game. But the, the game plan in the Johns offensive coordinator playbook <laughs> was we are bringing the heat all match long. There it is. Yep. That time it's Matt Wright getting one, as you mentioned. If he has anything on his forehand, especially if you're calculating, wait, they're speeding it up on us all the time. I got to take my turn. Yeah, and his speed up is so good. He can go down the line to Ben's backhand, or he can bring it across his body to his forehand. There's that great defense you talked about. Oh, my, what a point. In. It is Riley Newman that gets tagged here at the end of this one. You're trying to get out of the way, too. Sometimes your hands are so quick, you actually get to a ball you didn't want to get to. You know, this, I feel like I was talking about the woman to my right. This team can get on a run, and you just get back and serve, and you can get four points in less than a minute and a half, and it is very intimidating. Especially playing like this, super aggressive. There's the scorpion from Colin. This is absolutely unbelievable. I'm going to just tell you, fans, no one said you have to speed up every ball. I love that they're doing it, but I did not tell them. The referees, Lee, I don't believe you told them. No, maybe maybe the women's match inspired it them. It did. That, so maybe you were the reason. I like it. Yeah, I've seen many a matches between these two teams, and I've never seen one look like this. No, I agree. Called this several times just in the last few months, obviously prior to the summer break, and they were playing all the time, and they were grinding. And Ben Johns is swatting flies. <laughs> he's taking no prisoners no. either. I mean, he's swinging 100%. Another drive. Nope. And that hits the tape and goes wide. Yeah. I really do love the third shot, drive, fifth shot, drop combination. Nine, four, one. Yeah, because you might get a miss on that first volley, and it makes your drop so much easier because you're hitting it from, ideally, a lot closer to the net. Oh. <laughs> CJ unable to Nine, get four, from a three. backhand to a forehand in time there. Swats that one into the net. A lot of swatting going on. There's another one. There's there's the other benefit, as you mentioned. So yeah. look at this. Just in four, rapid three. fire, we got a game point. Oh, my. Complete. Well, that was a fake out by Ben. Yeah. That was a big fake out. So a game point is saved by just letting the Johns brothers fight over whose toy it is. Oh, Ernie me this, but Riley was there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is one of the hardest balls you will ever see. Look at this. I mean, he actually turned his paddle. That was crazy. I think Ben went and like worked out before this match or something. He's already played twice today. Come on, dude. <laughs> Honestly, this is This is a this is a new, new Ben Johns. Yes. This is a new Ben Johns. And that is bad news for everybody. <laughs> Very well could be. Good news for Anna Lee, though, yes, man. Yes. Okay. I still like it. They're sure. up 10 4. Take the risk. Put the pressure on the other team. Third try here for the Johns brothers to take game number one. This time, Ben says, I'll take it. Side up. Okay, can't make that reset. So, again, can Wright and Newman. You guys actually took a while to close out game one earlier, mm -hmm. and that can give a little little bit of momentum. To, you know, do you think about it? You know, yeah, we've had six chances here. Yeah, it gets mental for the team that's up, and, you know, the team that's coming back has nothing to lose at that point, and they just gain the momentum. They gain the confidence. It can be a sticky situation. 
can't make the third, so they get it back, but uh, really no harm done. And four, one. Try number four, Colin Johns to serve. Another miscommunication in the middle. Wow. And Great two hands. backhand oh, overhead oh, sort of up oh, above oh, their heads. Not exactly an overhead, but one-handed finishes. And ladies and gentlemen, we've taken it to 11 here in this match. Inspired wow. by the woman in the booth with me, the ladies were cracking the ball in the women's final, and the men have taken it up a notch from there. We'll be back with game two. All right, we are back. Dave Fleming with... Tournament of Champions champion Lee Waters here in the booth. Lee, we're both shocked at what's going on here. What would you tell Matt and Riley to do after the Johns are playing at different pace? Yeah, I mean, Matt and Riley's game is definitely like the speed up game, but it didn't really work for them this the first game. The Johns just came out firing. I actually would try to slow it down a little bit. They're both great dinkers. I would try to move the dink around, try to move Ben, get behind Ben a little bit. Um, I might even try switching sides, put Riley in front of Ben, see if he can create something, get big in front of him. But it doesn't look like they're switching sides just yet. So, here we go. Best of five, so a lot of time to kind of work this out. And Ben Johns is swinging for the fences on point number one. You didn't think he was going to change, of course, after what we saw, but my goodness. Okay. Zero, zero, one. So I'm wondering if this is like a strategy against this team specifically because we really didn't see this from Ben in the earlier rounds of this no, tournament. No, and this team was in serious trouble twice in this tournament, not playing like this, I would like to point out. Yeah, so I'm curious why Ben hasn't been playing like this all tournament. Yeah. Okay. All right. So Riley Newman reads that's Colin John speed up down the line and you know maybe Wright and Newman are like they can't possibly keep zero, playing zero, like this maybe. so maybe it's just okay let them hit themselves out of this Colin Johns was standing off the court in the middle of this point <laughs> so Ben and Colin are now against the wind ish um it's kind of a side wind but so their their put aways aren't going to be as penetrating on this side now riley and matt are going to have that full force yes. coming off their paddle you also talked about the visibility being better on the side that wright and newman are on so in those hands battles when you're talking milliseconds mm -hmm. that can make a difference and I've seen this all day long. Teams that are trying to climb up a hill haven't been making the fundamental shots of making a third and getting into it. Yeah, I noticed in our match, both teams, we had a lot of missed thirds. Yep. I think it's a combination of the altitude, the wind, um, being nervous, sure. trying to do too much, trying, you know. It is championship Saturday after all, and there's a lot on the line. Okay. Matt Wright sitting on that one. And just absolutely crushes it. One, zero, one. It started to resemble a normal Johns Brothers point, and it, of course, went a totally different way. Oh, I'm actually surprised Ben played that with the wind. I think that ball was sailing. That's correct. Yeah, anything up in the air going that direction that was started out that one. high, I don't think that was staying in the court. Okay. Coming back down to earth, maybe a so little that's, bit. So that's, you know, that's that was the other thing, you know, we talked about Three, a little bit even one. off the air. Maybe it's just, okay, can they possibly play this way for three, four, or five games? Yours, yours, yours. Server. Matt doesn't miss many of those. No, the feet was jammed him up a little bit, and then he was taking some choppy steps to get yeah. the swing ready. Oh. 
They've already matched their score from game one. That's got to feel really good. Because then you start saying, hey, we're just on the good side. No big deal from game one. Right out. Yeah, we, uh, I think um, Colin and Ben need to get a few points, though, to keep the pressure, you know. Yep. Don't let this game get too far out of control. And CJ unable to get that ball down and talked about pancakes. Lots of syrup on that one finds the right side of CJ's body there. So can't get their first point on try number one. Okay, so what was working in game one hasn't caught fire quite yet for Ben and Colin. It's definitely a little harder on that side, as I said, to be super aggressive. Second server. So you can't be disappointed in that. That's the way we're playing today. Matt keeps swinging at the forehand. Yeah. Swing's just a little big, just yeah. looks a little big. But I, I mean, I like it. I think it's the right play. Stay aggressive. Yeah! That's got great hands. That right. Just sits on that backhand here and just punches it into the open court. And folks, after a Ben John swinging for the fences fast in game one, it is five zip Newman and right in game two. That Stayed blows in. in. Yeah. Wow. And that's why you keep swinging right there. Nice cross court attack. And you want to talk I'm about out. the tables turning. And the Johns brothers zero, were all oh, about it. And then I see a zero <laughs> up there still, Lee. So my how the tide has changed here. We'll see if this continues here from the PPA Tours Club Tournament of Champions after this. All right, we are back, Dave Fleming, with Tournament of Champions, Champion Lee Waters. And boy, have we seen a turn of events here. John's brothers call timeout, get the ball back. So let's see if anything about their approach changes or they just felt like, all right, enough. That's some focus out of Colin Johns right there. My goodness. Yeah, it's just not no. there as much this game. Zero, six, two. Okay, so, so Matt Smith, yeah, Matt Smith's three or four speed ups. He's may also made a couple, but it looks like maybe they're One, letting six, him two. tee off and see, see if they can get him to make some more oh, unforced right. errors. We have a let. Yep, One, ball six, off the two. net, clears the kitchen. We replay that on the PPA tour. Boy, that just caught the line. Yeah, right out. Yeah, Riley's saying they're not going to beat me in my game. No. <laughs> Six, one, one. So a little more patient point, but the minute Riley saw something and he is much better off the bounce with the backhand than the forehand. And a big swing on a volley from Colin Johns. Yeah, that could be a little bit of that visibility that we were talking about, that little bit higher, he could have lost it because it, that's kind of what it looked like. There's some anger in those swings. Yeah, I will say when they switched sides, Matt Wright looked very determined. He looked like he was ready to bring it, and they really have brought it this game. Yeah, and I think, you know, I think the conversation was there are two things we can do. We can change or we can <laughs> dig in here 
And when you get Riley talking to the crowd, that is what is part of this. And there he goes. Thank you. Right on point. And it goes off the tape. They're high-fiving people in the crowd now. This is the danger. This is what you had to deal with. Yes. Because the crowd does love the waters, but not if Callie Smith's on the other side. So yeah. here we go. It is nine to one. Wow. What a change of events. I mean, this is like... This is pickleball, though. Yes. And and as we said, the third game, assuming they finish this, will help us sort of dissect if sides are the big issue here. Yes, for sure. So again, every return to Riley Newman. So he's going to get plenty of practice. One-on-one. <laughs> Drive. Oh, oh, he set himself up perfectly for that one. He just moved before yeah, he hit he, it. He, he pulled off it. Oh, that's that was a big problem for this team when they started the year in the middle. I mean, but they worked it out. Matt just sits on that backhand so well. He just keeps it out in front and he's able to counter, counter, and turn that defense right into offense. And he reads the paddle of his opponent so well that if it is coming forehand, he sees it in time. It's a really delicate balance to be able to do that. going to stay in. Well. Wright's going to make him hit another. Oh, and then, what? Oh, and that's a 9-1 point right exactly. there if I've never seen it. Exactly. <laughs> Matt was feeling it on that yeah, point. Yeah, and, and you talked about the look of determination right this man who's about to serve has. It's still right there, man. shot in this exchange is that Riley Newman came in to get that ball. You see how close they are together. A lot of teams don't support their partner in those True. rallies. And this is game point in milliseconds. Look at Riley Newman play defense. Oh no. He's in the crowd with the people he was high-fiving there. Our camera can't even get wide enough. Yeah, I think both these teams, you know, trading off wins uh, the last couple times they've played, you know, they want to show who's the alpha team, and they're, they, they're both out there looking for the W tonight, that's for sure. All right, 110, there's Ben Johns. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and now Matt Wright is shaking his head. Okay. <laughs> The crowd seems oh. to be loving it. <laughs> oh, now he's starting the partner Lucy Kovalova way out stuff. You had to deal with that in uh, your match. You were able to overcome that. But my goodness, this, this team is determined right now. Can't get game point. Number two, let's see if number three and is the difference. Two. Oh, and with a grunt, and they're not even looking at each other as they tap paddles. No, that was My a walk -off. goodness, Lee Waters, what is happening here? So, we surmise Ben Johns is going to swing at everything. That worked. They switched sides. That didn't work. Is it the side? We'll find out. Yeah. Right after this all right welcome back everybody and lee waters my goodness gracious what a complete 180 we just saw yeah. so we yeah, saw determination three. we were high-fiving the crowd we were <laughs> running into the crowd and now the johns brothers do they have a reply to what they just witnessed Newman will.
willpower work there. <laughs> And it is Matt Wright who speeds it up first. It was almost a dink point. Yes, one of the longer zero, points zero, we've one. seen for sure. But anything on his forehand side, he is firing away. I feel like the Johns have decided, well, we'll see. Oh, wait. Uh, get some room service right off the net. And he was actually going to be beat because he had had his backhand ready. Out. Yeah, so far they haven't sped the ball up yet, though, the Johns. No, they. So I'm curious. Let's see if it was just ball type and opportunity. Well. well. <laughs> oh, what a get by Ben there. And then Riley finishes with a beautiful Ernie. Read that perfectly. And now he's got the crowd amped even more. Look out. Just couldn't get the resets down there. Yeah, I'd like to see the Johns start to get a little bit more aggressive if possible, especially on this side. They got to take advantage of the side right yeah, now. Ben was very animated with CJ. That doesn't happen too often. And Matt's feeling it right now. And he's reading the ball off Ben's paddle brilliantly. He knew that where that was going. We talk about Ben being such a good reader and anticipator. Oh, there's that angle again. Well, Matt and uh, Ben actually were teammates for a while. They were indeed. So if anybody knows Ben's game, I would think it's Matt Wright. in the air and then gets the one to kiss off the tape and they've won 13 of the last 14 points. That's insane. They're playing so well. They're so aggressive right now. They're putting so much pressure on the Johns. And their hands are just so fast. Okay. Oh, another drop. Yeah, and CJ has a big forehand. I'd love to see him crack that and then let yeah. Ben have a chance to shake and bake off of that. Or that return had nothing on no, it. No, it was short return. That was a good one to punish. And there's another ball that CJ backed off and just laid it in. And I see either a conversation or frustration. I couldn't see Ben's face well enough to know. I think it's a bit of frustration out yeah. Ben. But they keep spinning up to the same place Matt's backhand, and he's kind of just sitting on it. There you go. Second server. Kind of like to see him pick another spot. Either try his hip, come around, come around him, yep. or start speeding up maybe at Riley or down the middle where we have seen trouble in the past. Look at Riley, <laughs> Riley. Newman play defense from the marketing. Now a lefty lob's gonna stay in. Oh, if they win this point, this place is gonna go nuts. And then Matt Wright just can't help himself and hits a forehand 212 miles long. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, it's been working so far, so take the risk. Especially on serve, no harm done. Yeah. Yeah. 
Turner's out backhand. Speed up to the backhand again. And it is Riley Newman coming over. Like, I don't care that there's another half the court. You're not going to put it there from the pressure. There's so much to learn from watching that point right there. It helps, too, that Riley and Matt are two very tall, big dudes. No question about it. I mean, little me, 5'8", over there, I'd try to help out my brother, but I don't have 6'4", of wingspan. Yeah, they can leave a little bit of court open and almost bait you, too, yeah. because they know they can cover between the two of them. Yeah, and there's no ball with pace that's going to beat you over there. And Riley, as you've seen, has so much athleticism, he'll get anything off a of bounce. Keep making them hit overheads, too. Yeah, we talk about Callan Dawson all the time having such a great lob, yes. but Matt Wright has a really good lob. He's very smart about it. He hides it very well. I mean, we've seen it defensively, but he uses it offensively. Indeed. So they're finally on the board here. They needed that. All they have are ones on the board there. It's usually 11s, but those ones are accurate, folks. <laughs> Okay. So a couple of errors from Wright and Newman, and there haven't been very many of those for the last 20 minutes or more of pickleball. Yeah. I don't... I'm not sure how I feel about the drop to Matt's forehand like that, especially with his speed up being so good. But they got away, they've gotten away with it, so there must be some strategy behind that. Okay. That time he was able to catch Matt with a blistering low drive as he tries to slide and get that backhand there, but that's tough to do on a ball that low. Um, well, they got on the board. They put a little bit of pressure on Matt and Riley. Let's see if <laughs> Matt and Riley go back on a tear. And no thought of a seventh shot drop there from Matt Wright. I don't even want to come in. I'm just going to swing as hard as I can. I'm going to throw a lob up in the air. That time he tried to sneak in, but again, Matt knows he's not getting the ball. So mm -hmm. he is trying to figure out how can I help a little bit here because they're sort of on to what Riley's going to do on his thirds. is Colin Johns with the reply. Watch him slide here, and he's going to go to the right. Backhand ready. If you try to go to my right, it's going to be out, so I'm sitting right on my body. Right, took a little off that to keep it in. Mm -hmm. And Colin John's ready for the attack again. So now it is the replies that are winning. Yeah, and you talk about Colin kind of fading over. There's quite a few right-sided players that have gotten really good at that fade, as they call it. They read it so well, and they're able to just counter. And very often, the counter is very offensive. That's a ball Ben is going to make most of the time. That's the pace and the look that game one had. There's that offensive law we talked Beautiful about. Beautiful out of the air. Great track down by Colin Johns. They may get back in this point. Oh, it trickles over. They do. Longest point of the match, and it feels like an eruption from the crowd will come with it. Second lob, second beauty. Oh, still, still going. Third lob, and, and that is squashed. He paid. <laughs> Look at Ben Johns get off the ground. Yeah. And 
third time was not a charm. No. Not on that point. Favor, one minute, five, so, five. Matt Wright throws up three lobs, <laughs> lob volleys, too, in the matter of 10, 15 <laughs> shots. Longest point of the match goes to the Johns. They're back in business. Newman and Wright have a called timeout. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back, everybody. The Johns are on a run here at the PPA's Club five, Tournament five, of Champions. Two. and. Good. Man, has this call. been just pure entertainment, Lee Waters. Yeah, this game means a lot. Whoever comes away with this game. Oh. Right Riley Newman screaming out. No one screams out better than either Newman, Lindsay or Riley. <laughs> five, five, but you can't get out of the way of something that's going to hit you. Good job by Wright at defending that. I don't know if Ben's ever hit more overheads no. in one match in his life. There comes yes, Matt. Yep. Right. Six, five, the lob goes well deep and it was not well disguised if you try to hit a topspin lob and you lean your whole body backwards you're telling the whole world hey lob's coming <laughs> i really do like that the middle dink that colin and yes. ben seem to be using well it's this it's the safest place on the court exactly because exactly. matt's not going to fire off his backhand and riley occasionally but very unlikely the two-hander on the other side way more dangerous Yeah. He got that one up higher on Matt's right shoulder. Yes. And that time, uh, Riley didn't come in and help out. No. Second server. <laughs> Even the leaves have a stare <laughs> invested in them. Six, six, two. Good spot, right at his feet. So six apiece in this pivotal, as you mentioned, Lee, six, six, game one. number three. Oh, he's sorry. not sorry. No, he's, he is he's got the sorry up, but come on. That's the <laughs> six, six, SNS if I've ever seen it. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> especially at this point in a championship match. Nice job by Riley, because Colin was on the first one, but to be ready is just so difficult, because you have no time, but if no, you hit no. it there, you kind of know where it's coming, you just got to be ready. Yeah. I'd be careful giving Matt that wide forehand dink. Just try to keep it more in the middle. That was a good spot. Got it to his forehand. That's the first time they've gotten it to his forehand. So, the deficit is two. We're tied at one game apiece. And Colin Johns able to hang in there. Again, no memo was sent that every ball has to be hit hard. We <laughs> promise you. No. I mean, Matt is literally teeing off on just about every forehand. And they have not, to your point, and we've seen it throughout, said we're not going to put the ball there anymore. No. Yeah, that looked wide. So, snowmen on the board. 8-8, <laughs> eight, eight, game three. Oh, 
Nice drive. So a short return is slammed down the middle and Riley Newman couldn't get there and solve that. So my goodness, what a game three after a whitewashing in game two. We'll be back with the conclusion after this. All right, we're back at this very historic tournament for pickleball. Got to thank John Gullo, who got this going, Kyle Klein, mm -hmm. who everything they do here. What does this mean to you to be a champion at Tournament of Champions here, Lee? Yeah, I think this was one of the first majors we ever came to uh, when we started playing pickleball. And it, it was just really cool. It was the biggest complex of its time, I think. Yeah. And um, the community is just so behind. The, the city, the community, the crowd is just so behind this tournament. It has a very special feel, uh, very different from a lot of the other tournaments we attend. Yeah, and, and the support is amazing and uh, thrilled to see the best players in the world battling like crazy here in game three. And, okay, so there's a question of whether it hit Colin Johns. That is a challengeable call if they have a timeout left. Ooh, they might. Mm. And they're out of timeout, so cannot challenge. 10-8, so then suddenly a game point here. Great job by Wright. Oh my, and it comes off the tape, but Ben Johns can't handle it. Yeah, I think Ben thought it was a little higher, right. but just a little too low for that pancake. Nice job by Riley Newman of filling the middle and then a little off speed, but yeah. got it behind Ben John. So a game point saved. Ooh. Here come the lobs again. Gonna have to have rotator cuff reviewed here for Ben Johns. There's another one. They're going into the wind. Oh, oh no. no! So Colin Johns probably hit a ball that's wide, although the wind was going to bring it in, and then tried for a stupid acute angle, just going really sharp and got too sharp on it. My goodness, this is everything. Ten apiece. Oh, that's a good one. Again, the lob retrieval from Colin Johns has been epic. I like this middle dink, though. There's another one. And Colin Johns can't run that down. And both, look at the Johns brothers, hands on the hips. They go to the sides, and now they are staring at a game point and down. And they didn't use their, they didn't no, use they their timeouts. No, they don't use timeouts much ever. Okay. There's one. And John squashes the first one. Second chance for Newman and Wright. It's usually been hit harder, just cut, and Newman out in front of it. So, one saved on one side. Now two by the John saved there, and now they have a chance to tie this at 11. Matt Wright chooses not to go after that one. Oh. Oh. And the Dikembe Mutombo no, no, no finger from Riley Newman comes out as yeah. Colin John sped it up, but right into that forehand. Yeah, right into the sweet spot. Oh, what a drive. Oh, wow. That's a great get by Matt right there. <sighs> and Colin Johns was ready, and Ben Johns filled in the middle, but a big swing. He's behind the pace. Yeah, I think that ball was going out, too. I'm not sure. And they're 
comedy hour over here, and the crowd continues. And third try to take game three. Oh, just missed it wide. Another great lob yes. by Matt, though. And again, taking it out of the air. You get surprise into the wind. Mm -hmm. Going to keep it in. Beautiful. And he knows he knows that Ben is leaning in. Great job by CJ to fill it in. Yeah! And Ben Johns misses. And my goodness, a game point was saved by Newman and Wright. And now they, after all that explosion in game number one from Ben Johns, they are up two games to one. Folks, this is awesome. Don't you dare miss game number four. That's behind us. So now we had Friday Night Lights last night. We got Saturday Night Lights. We got everybody lighting it up out here. And before we get to game four, there was going to be another presentation. The John Gullo Award for the hardest working woman in pickleball was going to be awarded to Melissa McCurley, who does so much for pickleball. Melissa just had knee surgery, couldn't travel. Can't thank her enough for oh all she gosh. does for pickleball, for all she has done, and wanted to take a second and make sure everybody knew that. So thank you, Melissa, yes, for Melissa. all you do. Man, she, yeah, you just can't say enough about what she's done for this sport. And behind the, speech, the scenes, so really doesn't get, wait till the point's over. She doesn't get the praise she deserves because she is behind the scenes. So, Melissa, if you're listening, we all love you. Zero, zero, one. And such a deserving, hardest working woman. Couldn't be better said and humble and loves the sport. All right. So, what's going to happen here? Is, zero, is, zero, are the Johns going to slow this down? We're under the lights now, so the ball will play even faster, believe it or not. Well, I can tell you who's not going to slow things down, and that's Riley and Matt, oh, no especially chance. on this side. They've been so zero, successful zero, overall. One. I mean, Annalie and I said the same thing when we were on that side to close it out. We said, we're just going to be ultra aggressive. Everything is going to be a speed up. And I think that's the same game plan going on here. Yeah, look at Matt Wright. He is coming in at the full sprint and able to set his feet and find that opening. And since Five, Colin Johns one. is playing so far over to the right, there is opportunity there if you can get your paddle on it. Newman is there. Oh. I mean, Ben Johns has hit just under 13,000 overheads in this match. It is unbelievable. It's so true. One, zero, two. Yours, yours. I don't like that. Oh. No. Still going. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, that is an unbelievable. That's one of the hardest ones he's had to hit because it was behind him. That's yeah, that was amazing. Zero, one, one. That was a great lob again, though. That took a degree of difficulty of 99 out of a scale of 1 to 10 to make no. that ball. Caught Matt. That was another high, high right shoulder ball. One, one, you see the Johns brothers focused, trying to force a game five. Oh, well, I hope we get there. Ben unable to reset that one. Out. And 
Matt Wright has done a wonderful job of the speed ups of going one, to one, different one. spots. Yep. That one he brought across the body of Ben Johnson, caught the forehand. He'd been blowing up the backhand earlier. Colin thought little brother was taking that ball, but they get out of it. And an unbelievable lob doctor title might be up for grabs, Callan Dawson. <laughs> oh. oh no. <laughs> that ball, which was going in front of Matt Wright, ends up going almost out of bounds on the other side, but stays one, one. in. Everything going their way here. And remember, they won 11 1 on this side in game number two. Riley Willpower. Ooh, that time the net says enough. Yeah, and what makes Matt so dangerous on those speed ups is he can hit different spots, Here's like you were one, saying, two. from the same paddle position. Yes. Very hard to read, or he can throw up the lob. First time Matt's been on the left yeah. side. <laughs> and he speeds it up from over there. They were there only because Riley poached and on the switch, and now that is working. It might be time to cool Matt right off and make Riley Newman hit a lot of balls. Not that he isn't that's, playing fantastic. I was, that's what I was going to suggest, actually. I mean, Matt's just on fire right now. He, he's feeling it. He's walking fast. He's playing fast. Yeah, I think Four, I might one, try to take Matt out of the equation for, for just a little bit. Oh, oh my. Look at the big <laughs> bend from Matt right there. <laughs> Ben's, Ben's thinking I need that right Four, there. One. Did they ever. Can you see the flag over Ben yeah. John's head there? So he's trying to one, drop four, that two. into the wind. Great dink. And that's the wizardry that he brings to the table that has not Good been an option there. because we just haven't played points where that ball was available. Yeah! That is not a replay from a minute ago. To be able to go inside out on that block, Matt Wright. You said this might be the best match you've ever seen him play. I, I'm trying to find something yeah. that's better on this type of stage. Yeah, I feel like um, the Johns need to find that, that middle dink, slow down Four, that two, two. speed up from both Riley and Matt, try to get him a little out of position. <laughs> but they're giving him choices. When that dink comes over there, he has proven, I'm going to throw up the lob, I'm going to attack somewhere, I'm going to make this hurt. Yeah, I don't. I really don't like that cross-court dink anymore. <laughs> Here it is again. Yep. Yeah, anything to Matt Wright's right just needs to be <laughs> wrong. <laughs> That's a great job there. Wright tried to sneak in, and oh. Ernie might have had a I think, yeah, I think a he foot. was in the kitchen, too. Might have been. I think his... He was blocked. Yeah. The ref was blocked. Completely blocked. And yeah, I like... I like I like this. And now Ben's finally able to get on top of one because the pace of that was just a little slower. So the call for middle dinks is working. And for all that we saw earlier, this is tied at four. Big drive goes well out. 
four, four, one. Johns did a good job of, of getting back even on the board, though. Riley and Matt were looking pretty hot there. Yeah! And it is the two-handed backhand of Riley Newman. You can see Colin sitting, expecting to be attacked body, and he's bought it down Five, the four, line. One. What a shot by Riley Newman there. And you saw them come together together like somebody threw a hundred dollar bill up at the net and they're gonna come first one yeah. to get it. Yeah, they need to call a timeout. Yeah, this this has to be. And Colin Johns is marching to a chair and it is seven four one. They are four points from a title here. The Johns brothers got it back even, but now that fire from Newman and Wright is there again. What a match. We'll be right back. Dave Fleming back here with Lee Waters. And Lee, we watched the body language of the Johns boys during that timeout, and there was frustration everywhere. What would you tell them if you were coaching them? Because they're four points from I mean, being sent home. Yeah, I mean, it's tough because Matt and Riley are just playing so aggressive, and they, they're not missing. I mean, they're pulling the trigger. They're making it. They're countering. Seven, four, um, their one. defense has been insane. The middle dink seems to be the one way that the Johns boys have been able to win some points. Oh. Second server. Ball's out. Let's see. Okay, Can't really down. tell from that angle. Call on the court was out. This team is challenging the out call. Okay, so. Got a challenge? We do have a challenge. So let me set up our referee. So that was Tom Whitson's voice. Tom agreed with the call from his vantage point. Roger Workman's the second referee. Our tracking referee is Howard Hepworth. And this is in Eileen Egloff's hands. She is our video referee and my goodness this is huge this because is huge. if this thing crawled onto the line now again that ball was traveling with the wind here correct from Wright and Newman's perspective I think this is worth the challenge. If it was that close, you get a timeout sort of okay. Yeah, and they haven't used a timeout, no. so they still will have one left right. if they lose this challenge. But I mean, going back to what your question, I mean, Ben and Colin need to keep those dinks off the lines because you've got Riley Newman on the backhand line. He's too good at speeding it up down the line. You've got Matt Wright on the forehand line, too good at speeding it up down the forehand. They're getting killed on the lines. Keep it in the middle, try to create some kind of confusion, bring them both in to create some space on the outsides. I mean, nobody's better at dinking aggressively than Ben Johns. Right. So get them together, maybe find an aggressive dink outside that they can't attack. I mean, but it's tough. I'm telling you, the pressure that Matt and Riley are putting on the Johns right now is, is tough. So we have the referees gathering. We have a verdict. This is a big one. The referee seemed pretty adamant that the ball was out. Yeah, Tom out. Whitson was all over it, saying it was out. We'll see if he was right. The call on the court, the ball was out. The call was challenged. Video replay, the ball was clearly out. Okay. You lose one timeout. It's now second server on this side. The score is seven on this side. On this side, server Great job, Tom Whitson, and just walking us through everything there. Great job, great job. The referees are a critical part of this operation. Laid it out perfectly for us. Can they get a second stop? A little lefty by Riley Newman there, but Colin John's just able to ease that down the line. So, 4 7 1. 4 7 1, game four. And that third is just high and punished. The thing you have right now is you've got Wright and Newman unwinding a stack. So if you get a short return, you do have a target. And Ben goes behind Newman, hoping to surprise him. Okay. All right. 
One firefight goes to the Johns boys. Five, seven, two. Oh, two missed thirds at a crucial, crucial moment. Okay. <laughs> Matt Wright making sure they're in position. Seven, five, one. Every third has been yours, Riley, so that shouldn't have been a surprise. <laughs> Great dig. Can they get out of this? Not right with the speed up. No. Yeah. And they cannot. And again, that ball continues to be an opportunity. Great get by Matt right in the middle. There it was and again. They are two points from taking the club tournament of champions title. And it is Riley Newman on top of that one. And that scoreboard shows us that this is match point for Riley Newman and Matt Wright. Just in. Oh, and Matt Wright wanted that desperately. So a first try at match point you gotta is get not one more executed. Save. One, one more, more save. stop, and then who knows what could happen. Keep it off those, yep, yeah, there we go. Oh my. <laughs> it trickles over and then lands on the line on title <laughs> championship point. We will play on. Yeah, I think Matt and Riley are literally going to, oh, I mean, they've been doing it already, but I think they're literally going to speed up everything at this point. Six, ten, one. That's why they had two chances. Second server. And that Colin Johns drive catches the tape. Second chance. Six, they got to go three. here. Yeah! And again. Right Lee Waters, you've been saying, don't put the ball out wide because everything is working for and Newman. And right, here's another chance to take a title. Just lays the serve in. Oh my. Okay, we talked about this earlier. This gets in your head, especially when it's can. championship point. Three lost. Oh, and a missed return. return is the anticlimactic end to a tremendous match. There they are. Riley Newman and Matt Wright brought the heat, withstood the first game fury of Ben Johnson there. High five in the fans here. That was a tremendous effort. Any final thoughts, Lee yeah, Waters? Yeah, I mean, they earned it. They earned it. They took the risks. They pulled the trigger. Every opportunity they, that they had, they countered well. I mean, they were unstoppable. They really were tonight. So it is Riley Newman and Matt Wright who take the title. Lee Waters, thanks so much for thanks joining for me in the me. booth. Congratulations Thank to you, you for your title. I'll go talk to the winners right after this. What a match. We're just getting our audio squared away. Everyone's fired up. Dave Fleming back here on center court for one last time. And first of all, give it up to the Johns brothers for an amazing run here in the tournament and what a match. But let's talk to the winners, Riley Newman and Matt Wright. Go crazy, Utah. So Matt, I had the pleasure to call that match with Lee Waters who had just won on this very court. And we said, this might be the best match I've ever seen Matt Wright play. What enabled you to play at this level on this stage in such an impressive fashion? I don't know, some days it just, it's hard to explain. Some days it's there, some days it's not. Lucy and I came back here, I think the first time in 2016, we kind of called this one of the OG tournaments. We have so many great memories. We love being in Brigham City. The fans bring so much energy. Um, 
it's it's just a pleasure to play in front of this crowd. I mean, it's uh, it's a pickleball hotbed. You know, I mean, they have a lot of roots here. So, and then being under the lights just always gives that you know little something special, little extra. So Riley. Ben Johns came out and hit every ball 4,000 miles an hour in the first game, and you're down a game, and then you had an amazing comeback. What was the difference to come back and win game two 11-1? I'm not sure if people picked up on this, but Ben started to wave the finger, and it kind of woke us up. It woke, it woke Matt up. Uh, he started the fight, and so Matt was heads up against Ben. Matt, Matt played really well today. Uh, he was attacking really well, and when he, when he attacked, I was looking to squeeze middle on the next ball. And uh, no, I was very, very happy to be here. Thank you, everybody, for cheering. So, Matt, we talk about pickleball is chess, not checkers. You guys were very clear on what you wanted to do. We just joked before we came on. There's not going to be a dink here. There's not going to be a dink. And then, though, your lobs were terrific tonight. How were you able to add that in to make this match go your way? You seem so surprised, Dave. Is my lob usually bad? Maybe it is. I don't know. Um, I was just feeling it tonight. I was just trying to keep them uncomfortable, keep them on, the, on their heels, be unpredictable. Sometimes, like I said, I think the other day after mix or maybe it was after men's, sometimes I look very foolish out there. And what, what was that shot? What an idiot. But that, you know, that's my style. Go down swing and I'm not going to sit out there and hit 50 dinks. Um, you know, got to play to your comparative advantage, and that's what I did. And then we talked a lot about on the broadcast, Riley, when the balls went out wide, both of you chose to speed that up. In your two-handed backhand, you were able to get it down the line, get it in the middle. What enables you to disguise that so well to be able to make that such a winning shot? Well, my sister Lindsay thinks it's predictable every time I attack the ball. Um, but I, try, I just try to make it look like a dink. And then all of a sudden when uh, I see Colin not really as ready or if maybe he's given up a little bit of core positioning, that's when I'm going to fire and, and be ready for the next one. But uh, it, was, it was a super fun day. Uh, you know, I've won nationals. I've won US Open. But this is the last major I have not won. So this is a bittersweet one. And happy to do it with Matt. So it was a great day. All right. Tremendous match. Four in a row. That is unbelievable. Let's bring in Club, our tournament sponsor, to give you guys the trophy and the CEO of the PPA Tour. Thank you very much. Here's Connor Pardo. Matt Wright, Riley Newman, congratulations. You guys played great today. That has to be one of the most fun pickleball matches ever played and recorded to watch. I think it's going to have many, many views for many years to come, and you guys should both be proud. On behalf of our sponsor club, the PPA Tour, and the whole group here, we present you with this trophy. Enjoy it. This is a fun one. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, your club tournament of champions, men's doubles winners, Riley Newman and Matt Wright.